What is up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin Bees. I'm a wife, a mom, a military veteran, a certified personal trainer, and I spent 13 and a half years in multi-level marketing, healed my way out, and now I'm using all of my social media platforms to educate and raise awareness around the dangers of multi-level marketing companies and the tactics used by their reps. I know you guys have probably heard this by the time this video comes out. I know Julie Anderson did an incredible video on this. I also have a lot that I wanted to say, so that is why we are covering it here right now today. So in case you haven't heard, 31, which is a multi-level marketing company, is closing and I am thrilled. I'm very excited that another one is biting the dust. That's great news. And what I have here today is a video of the CEO explaining why they are closing. Mixed with some word salad, mixed with some weird tones of voice. I don't know how I wanna describe that. I hope you have your favorite snack. I hope you have your favorite beverage. You guys know I have mine. Not sponsored, but I'd like to be Dr. Pepper. Thank you, please and thank you. Okay, <laughs> anyways, let's get into today's video and see what the CEO of 31, 31 Gifts, I think is the full name of the company, has to say. And as always, drop your comments below. I reacquired majority ownership of 31 after three difficult years as a minority owner. Later that year, I stepped back in to lead the company as CEO to attempt to restore our focus. If you were delivering the news that you're closing the company, this is not the energy that I would picture somebody that's a leader in the company the CEO to be showing people. This already in the first however many seconds, 20 seconds, where's the, where's the empathy? Where's the emotion? It feels lacking in those departments, in my opinion. Do you guys think so too? Maybe I paused it too soon, but I'm like, what? On the 31, we had been for over 15 years. And with passion, focus on returning the company and your individual businesses to growth and profitability. When I handed the company over to private equity, we were honestly in distress from a changing sales environment combined with the major hardship it caused all of us. And to be honest, I didn't gain a single dollar as owner in the transition. You didn't gain a single dollar in the transition? Good for you. I, I, I don't understand why that's being brought up. And also the changing sales environment. Could that be that people know what multi-level marketing is and how unethical it is and how only the people at the top of the pyramid make any money? Could that be it? But I was able to receive a salary as founder for the next three years. And I did this willingly because I believed so much. In I'm sorry, what? You didn't make any money in the transition, but you were able to make a salary for the next three years. And you're bragging about that in the video where you're telling people you're closing the company that you haven't told them yet. This is weird, you guys. This doesn't make any sense. This is like, oh, I did everything that I could, but you know, we, ha we have to close. First of all, the tone is driving me absolutely bananas. It, it's, I don't even know how to describe how this energy and tone together is making me feel, but it's like, where is the empathy? The mission and values of our 31 brand. I hoped that the partnership would bring new life and restore growth for you and your business, as well as the- It's not their business. And you know how we know that? One, it's a multi-level marketing company. Two, this is a video of you getting ready to tell people after a bunch of word salad and ego stroke statements, in my opinion, that you're getting ready to close the company. If it were their business, they wouldn't have a CEO telling them they're closing the company. So it's not their business. We know that. Company as a whole. Although the partnership had many positive effects, long-term, we continue to decline and fall short of profitability and growth. Most of Watching her smile as she's saying this is making me angry. Oh, this is great. We tried to do everything that we could to uh, uphold the company and the mission of the brand so that you guys could be profitable. Meanwhile, we know that the majority of people in MLM lose money and don't make any or don't make any at all. Let me say it that way. But you know, we tried to do everything we could to be profitable. Oh, I took a salary for three years. I don't enjoy this. You felt this yourselves on a very personal level in your own businesses, but you chose to persevere. 
When I returned last year, I came with a new sense of purpose and drive to fix what we had built so successfully since 2003. It wasn't successful if you had to bring in a an investor? Was it so successful if the company was in decline? No, those are the opposite. Success is the opposite of decline. I still believed in the power of giving women a place to belong. Make some Hi, um, as a woman, there are many places where we can find belonging that doesn't require joining a, a commercial cult. So there's that. Extra income and find their own version of success through 31 and our sisterhood. Scott and I believed so much in our mission that I chose to eliminate my own salary and invest our savings back into supporting and sustaining our business until we could help return to stability and growth. We only recently began to see some glimmers of hope after making some major changes in the way we've released product and how we manage the unfortunate losses that come with discount stacking, shipping cost and operational costs associated with every order. We have always tried to ensure that we would not run out of products. So over the last several years, as sales have decreased, our excess inventory has increased. That sounds like you weren't watching the trends. That sounds like you weren't managing inventory properly. This sounds like you mismanaged the company. That's what, that's what I'm hearing. What do you guys think? I guess good for you for getting rid of your salary? For how long? Did you just give up one paycheck a month? Did you give it up indefinitely? How long? Because I feel like if you're going to give some sort of a statement like that, you should also like, because it feels like she's just trying to pat herself on the back, just in my opinion. You know, oh, I gave up my salary. Really? For how long? Be specific if you're going to make these kinds of statements is what I'm trying to say. This sounds like you didn't manage it properly or whoever was before you didn't manage it properly. If you have a, a massive amount of inventory, wouldn't you be studying the trends? I feel like that's what businesses do, right? Discounts on top of discounts have eaten away at the funds needed to support the business's operational cost. And in case you haven't noticed, the cost of running a business due to inflation and global economic stability has grown exponentially. You know what else has grown exponentially? The anti-MLM movement, the anti-multi-level marketing movement, the people that are sharing the people that are commenting, the people that are creating content, talking about how unethical companies like 31 are, where the majority of people lose money or don't make any at all. The anti-MLM movement has grown exponentially as well. So while the cost of goods and, and things of that nature have risen along with inflation, now we have the anti-MLM movement giving tons of information and education to anybody that can type in the search bar, especially on YouTube, anti MLM and the name of the company, everything is at their fingertips. Before that person uses high pressure sales to try and recruit them, they're able to go and find information from whomever is creating content within the anti MLM genre to prevent them from joining. And I think that that, that is amazing. And y'all should be patting yourself on the back for that because you are a very important part of the movement. You're probably seeing this everywhere you turn, from the grocery store to the local florist. All industries are suffering as inflation continues to spiral out of control. The last couple of months have seen some positive changes in our trajectory. Your home office staff has done an incredible, difficult work to try to make sure you have the best opportunity to sell the best product and build a sustainable business. I am so proud and grateful for the product, sales, marketing, operations, and customer service teams for the way they have stepped up and put everything they have into making 31 we all believed it could and should be. However, despite our best efforts, we carry a and still smiling. What in the toxic positivity is happening here? Load of debt and operational costs that are just too high. A load of debt? Why? Who was making the decisions to accrue such debt? Because it wasn't the, the distributors in this case. It wasn't the distributors because they don't own the business. They're distributors for the company selling a product, earning a commission and trying to recruit other people to do the same thing. They're not the ones making this decision. So who was making the decisions to accrue this type of debt? That would be you, right? 
or the CFO. To put it simply, we cannot afford to continue with the business we have loved and believed in for so many years. And also, don't get me wrong, I'm very excited that this is closing, but the delivery of this I find absolutely vile. It feels like toxic positivity. It feels like there's no empathy for the distributors. It feels, it just, two things can be true at once. Many things can be true at once. I love the fact that this MLM is closing, and I also can detest the way that this is being presented and the lack of empathy. Both of those can be true at the same time. And as you may have seen, we are one of many companies who has had to come to this realization. We have considered every possibility, but to be honest, my passion as founder and your biggest cheerleader has never been about our company profitability and just selling a bunch of products. I'm sorry, that's a bunch of BS. You're the CEO of a company. Your job is to make sure that a company is profitable. Your job is to make sure everybody else is doing their job. Your job is to make the decisions as the leader of the company to make sure things are going in the right direction. I have fought hard over the last few years to protect you, your income, our culture, or their lack of income. You fought hard to protect their lack of income considering the statistics and data behind multi-level marketing company and their lack of income. Cool, cool, cool. So who, who are you exactly or who were you exactly protecting? Oh, the top of the pyramid. Yeah. And the potential for personal and professional growth. I love our version of the multi-level sales model. I'm sure you do because you were collecting a check. You were getting a salary and asking people that are distributors in the company to promote a product. This is one of those companies that a lot of people would go and do parties. So you're asking people to pack up their car. So in that car, they probably have a lot of inventory because you've got to be a product of the product. They're driving over to somebody's house. They're doing a sales presentation. They are hopefully getting some orders. I mean, now that it's closing, you know, but remembering what doing parties felt like when I did them. You're hoping that somebody is getting some orders. You're placing the order. I don't know if 31 is a company that drop ships or if the product was shipped to the distributor and then they had to distribute it. I'm not sure. I know Pampered Chef, it was sent to the host. Let me know if you guys know that in the comments, if 31 is, uh, is or was a company that drop ships to the customers that place an order at a party. You're asking these people to take all this time, energy, effort, creativity, money, and do these parties hoping that they'll you know, make a little bit of money and they're not going to ever get that time back. And how many people went out and did parties and never made any money and they're out there working for free while this person, the CEO, was getting a nice salary until she decided to give it up. I do not believe in a world where you're simply just a sales force selling our products. But that's, that's what they were. I mean, that's the facts. That's what they were. So I don't know why we're trying to word salad our way through this. Oh, I love you guys. Y'all are family. Well, if, if you loved them and they were family, this wouldn't have been a multi-level marketing company. You would have done like an, an actual affiliate program, not what we see some of these MLM companies doing, trying to act like they're affiliate. I mean, like an actual affiliate program. No, you did it as an MLM because you know that the, the distributors are the best customers, that they're gonna order the new launches, they're gonna order all of that stuff, they're going to market for you on social media. Be so for real right now. The mission means too much to me. So it is with a broken heart that I have decided- Yeah, you look real broken hearted. You look so sad. You look so upset with that smile on your face. You look so upset seeing your eyes as you're reading a script with zero emotion. You look real upset, real bothered. I decided to close 31 in December of this year. There simply is no financial feasible way to continue doing business in a way that allows us to provide the opportunity and benefits we have offered to you, our treasured- And what benefits? Oh, the top of the pyramid you're referring to, the people that were making significant income off of the backs of the people in their downline. So they're the only ones that were actually benefiting. But you're trying to make this statement like everybody in the company benefited. People can find community anywhere without having to join a multi-level marketing company. People can find ways to personally grow and develop without joining a multi-level marketing company. So at the end of the day, what did you offer people? Transactional relationships? 
a waste of their time, a waste of their money. Yikes. Consultants and cover the cost, past, present, and future of doing business. Between the past challenges from COVID, inflation, debt, and the current social climate, the 31 that I envisioned and built from that basement in Tennessee just doesn't. Why is it always a basement? I feel like nowadays, anybody in an MLM has a basement story. Please stop. At work in today's world. I know this is heartbreaking for you too. Yeah, and, and you look real heartbroken. So many of you have done everything you knew how to do to support the 31 mission. It's not a mission. It is and soon will have been a multi-level marketing company. I'm saying that because they're closing in December and I love that for us. It was a multi-level marketing company, an unethical business model that preys on people, their time, energy, creativity, money. You have resisted the predatory offers from competitors. The predatory offers from competitors while she's in a predator, while she's the CEO of a predatory company business model. You <laughs> <laughs> the irony acted with integrity in online forums. Are you really thanking people for not publicly being honest about how they're feeling? Are you trying to tell us that you were monitoring online forums and what people were saying about 31? Cause that sounds pretty culty. That's a little odd to me. Acted with integrity. This is the CEO of a multi-level marketing company talking about the distributors acting with integrity amongst online forums. First of all, if you're in 31 and you're upset about this company closing, you should be. You should be livid because you've been told this whole time that you're a business owner and then you find out through this video that was posted on Vimeo that the company is closing in December. Let me guess, are they going to be doing a bunch of sales and encouraging you guys to order more products at a discount so you can continue to serve your customers through December? Let me guess, are they going to have some sort of a recruiting bonus? to join in the last couple months of the year to make some Christmas cash. I would not be shocked if either of those things were happening. Not one bit. This is wild. And worked really hard to sell and build a business for yourself. They didn't build a business because you are making the decision to close the business that they're distributors for, they're contracted workers for. If they own their own business, they would have access to the financials. They would have access to everything. They don't have access to any of that. They're not making decisions on doubling or whatever discounts. They're not making any decisions on the product and the pricing. They're not making any of those decisions. They're simply using your website, using your catalogs and saying, these are the products that are available. This is how I use these bags. This is how you can give them as gifts or whatnot. They're not business owners. So it's really odd to me hearing the CEO of the company saying, you guys worked really hard to work your business, but we're going to close. Well, <laughs> do they not hear themselves? Any of you are successful and this announcement may be a complete shock. Others of you have seen this coming. You've hoped for the best. You have seen friends courted away and even at times speak harshly about our 31 family. I mean, was it harsh or was it honesty? Did they leave because what they were seeing they felt was unethical? I'm not, I'm not justifying somebody going to another MLM company, but when she was saying you guys acted with integrity on, on or in online forums and here she's like, I know you've seen some harsh criticism. Yeah, because you're a multi-level marketing company and people are going to point out how unethical that is. I know I said it already. This is so culty. It's unbelievable to me. Trying to control the narrative. Listen, guys, we're going to close. I know you tried your hardest to work your business. We're going to close because she didn't make the right decisions and she had too much stock. You guys weren't buying it in addition to customers weren't buying it. And so now we have all of this product sitting on the shelves in the warehouse because we didn't plan accordingly. We didn't watch the sales trends, but now we have to close it. So all of you people that have spent all this money hoping that one day you'll reach the top of the pyramid. Now you have all these bags. What are you going to do with it? Come on. But I want to encourage all of you to stop, take a deep breath, and not just react immediately. I'm sorry. You don't get to tell people how to react. The audacity. First of all, if you're in 31 and you're pissed, you should be. You have every right to be pissed. If you're in 31 and you're feeling hurt, 
you should be. You absolutely should be. Your feelings are absolutely valid. And for her to be like, listen, hold on, guys. Don't start rioting. Take a deep breath. Pause for a second. First of all, the odd, I already said it, but the audacity. That is so condescending. And I'm laughing because I'm like, I can't believe I'm watching this. The emotions you feel of disappointment, shock, anger and heartbreak are all things I have personally had to struggle with the last few weeks as it became more and more evident. Oh, okay. So since you've had to deal with these feelings the last few weeks, that makes you the authority to say, oh, uh, by the way, guys, take a deep breath. Don't react. <laughs> First of all, if you're in 31, get out of MLM, get out of multi-level marketing company, get away from multi-level marketing company. If you are somebody that actually wants to own your own business, then actually go out and start your own business. Don't jump to another MLM company. Don't listen to what, you know, that person in your inbox is like, oh, I'm so sorry. My heart's going out to you. I've been there. It's so hard. I'm so glad I won't have to deal with that over here, hoping that you're going to ask them questions about their company that they're a part of. Please don't do that. Please don't join another MLM company. I'm telling you, when you get away from the brainwashing and when you get away from how you're thinking about every day, when you're in an MLM, you are thinking every single day on sales tactics, what you can do, what you can post, how you can creatively talk about, you know, joining the team and becoming a business owner, exhibit A on why you're not a business owner, first of all. When you step away from the MLM, you actually get true time freedom back. When I got out of multi-level marketing for good in July of 2021, the next morning after I resigned and Jade at Prove It said, you know, you can't join another MLM for six months. And I was like, good, because I'm never joining one again. The next day I woke up and I was like, what do I want to do today? And aside from being a parent and, you know, all of the adult responsibilities that we have, being able to say, oh, I'm, I'm going to do whatever I want. If that means nothing, that's fantastic. I don't have to post on social media. I can do whatever I want. If I want to catch a Netflix show or if I want to watch a movie, if I want to take a nap, I don't. I don't have to do anything. When you get away from that hustle and bustle, constant grind, hoping that one day you're going to hit it big and get to the top of the pyramid. And so you're going to invest three to five years so that one day you'll be at the top. And then you get this message from your CEO saying that you're they're closing and you're like, wait, I just have invested all this time, energy and money. Listen, when you get on the other side of that, you get true time freedom. You get your life back because I know they tell people, oh, you can work in the pocket of, of your days. I used to tell people that too when I was in an MLM. But what happens is you start working your life in the pockets of the day and the rest of it is taken over by the MLM. You have an opportunity, an actual opportunity to get your life back, to get your time back, to use your creativity to where you can benefit, whatever those benefits you're, you're wanting, whether it's creating a an actual business for yourself, you have an opportunity to get away from multi-level marketing companies and to actually do your own thing or choose to not do anything at all and find another way to make income. That's powerful. It's really powerful. That we were not going to make it despite pouring everything we could into it. I choose to look upon our last 21 years with gratitude. Yeah, that's your choice. How dare you try to tell people how to feel about this? How dare you, after so many years of collecting a cushy salary while people were pouring back any income that they were making, if any, back into more stock or getting to the events or any of these things and making all these sacrifices, how dare you be like, I choose to look back in gratitude. Easy to say when you're making all this income. To be honest, we have faced many challenges since the very beginning. That's just part of life and business. But I have never been more aware than I am now of the blessing 31 has been to me personally and the hundreds of thousands of you who we have impacted. Does that include the people that you impacted neg negatively? Or is it only the ones that are taking a pause and looking back on gratitude and saying, you know, I, I loved all that time and money and energy that I spent in 31. Are you only acknowledging those people? Because typically in MLM, they only acknowledge the positive things, you know, because if it's negative, they're a hater. Somebody has critical thinking questions. 
you know, they're a hater, they're negative, they're a naysayer. I look at me 21 years ago and that girl would have never imagined the love, friendship, spiritual and personal growth. All of which you can find not in a pyramid scheme. And the positive influence that this little dream and a thermal tote would have. How could I look at the hardships now and let them overshadow the fulfillment of dreams we have seen in countless thousands of women who, if even for a short season, were able to see blessings through 31. Scott and I dreamed of a ministry that would help some people find a deeper relationship with God. Oh my God. Uh, these companies that use spiritual manipulation to try to get people into an unethical product-based pyramid scheme while reading scripture or quoting scripture and they're like, God let us here. No, God would not be, Jesus would not be into you scamming other people in a multi-level marketing company. Ma'am, stop it. And we have seen that happen over and over again. We've seen marriages restored. They from 31, from a multi-level marketing company, you think that you restored marriages? You have got to be kidding me. Faith regained, homes saved home safe from the top of the pyramid, the people with the biggest teams making the most income. You have got to be kidding me. Dreams for your children and literally hundreds of millions of dollars passed on to people in need through that little dream of mine. How could I ever think for a minute that because it may not work now, that it didn't fulfill God's purpose for it in the world? Okay, wait, <laughs> stop. <laughs> You're trying to tell me God's purpose was for people to join a product-based pyramid scheme where the majority of people will lose money. I don't believe that for a second. This is so disgusting. Like it's making my stomach turn. Her energy, the smiling, the lack of empathy and oh guys before you react let's let's pause let's look back in gratitude for the relationships that we have built let's look back in gratitude for the time that we've been able to spend together let's look back in gratitude for the people that were able to save their marriage because of 31 gifts oh i have that feeling you know what i'm talking about oh world of course, my heart is broken. Yeah, you look real heartbroken with the smile on your face. Like I've already said several times in this video, it's disgusting. That we cannot continue in business. But my heart is way more full of gratitude and joy for what we have seen him do through 31. Oh my God. And I pray that you can see that too. One of the most important benefits of 31 for all of you has been the sisterhood. Yeah, because that doesn't sound like a cult at all. And I encourage you that the community you have found should not end. You have friends and accountability partners who have been... You can find friends and accountability partners that are not transactional based, that are not a part of a multi-level marketing company. Much more than business associates. The community you have found here does not have to end with our closing. Lastly, I want to encourage you. You are amazing people who have made every minute of the last 21 years totally worth it to me. 31 has always been about more than a bag, and it is you and the influence that you have as women and men of integrity in this world around you. Oh my God, this makes me feel like she's trying to tell people not to speak ill of 31. Well, <laughs> that's not happening on my channel, I'll tell you that much. Now, I know you have a million questions. And Angie will be here after me to share what this means for you and your business. But just it's not their business because you're telling them you're closing. What business decisions are they making? None. Okay, got it. No, that instead of liquidating products or just closing the doors immediately, that we want to allow you 
the opportunity to make as much money as you possibly can between now and the end of the year. We will be offering huge discounts and commissions. That's liquidating. Wait, hold on. When you say commissions, are you talking about from the selling of the product or recruiting people in to participate in the liquidation sale that you're saying is not a liquidation sale? Please tell me. Please tell me she's not talking about recruiting and commissions on, on recruiting and having a team. Please. Oh my God. On all sales through December 15th. And I want you to be able to finish well and make as much as possible before Christmas. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. So you're going to get on here and you're going to with no emotion and a smile on your face, tell these distributors that you're closing and then spin it to say, listen, we want you to make as much money as you can through December 15th for Christmas. So make sure you buy everything up on these huge sales. Listen, while telling them, while telling them it's not a liquidation sale, if the overhead cost is exceeding the revenue, that tells me that the liquidation sale is trying to create as much revenue as possible. That's gonna come from the distributors. The manipulation of this call, it's literally making my stomach turn. Listen guys, we want you to make as much money as possible between now and December 15th for Christmas for your family. So we're gonna have some huge discounts, but by December 15th, we're gonna be out of business. So buy up. You, you have got to be kidding me. So Angie will give you all those important details. I love you so much. No, you don't. No, she doesn't. She does not love you. Because if she did, she wouldn't have started a multi-level marketing company. That was the greed. That's what that was, in my opinion. Oh, this is disgusting. I will miss every conference experience, all the photo ops, long photo ops the incentive trips, and extra surprise drop-ins at many of your regional meetings and retreats. My heart has always been and will continue to be with you. Thank you. Thank you for loving me and believing with me in the calling that God put on my life for the last 21 years. Oh my God. It would have never been possible or it would have never flourished without each of you. Well, yeah, because you've got to have distributors that are a product of the product. I mean, at least she was honest in that sentence, that statement. I am done with that. That, that gave me the ick. That made me sick to my stomach. That's how I feel after watching that. If you're in 31, listen, you're in a very vulnerable position. You're probably being pitched a ton of different companies. Step away from the chaos, put social media down, stop for a second and think about things. Look at the money that you have spent on 31. Look at the money you have spent going to the events. Look at the money that you have spent on the supplies for doing parties. Do a profit and loss statement. How much have you spent versus if you've made anything at all, if you've brought any income in at all? Look at the numbers. Look at the math. Talk to an accountant if you need help with this. Ask the questions. Because when you step away from the chaos and the smoke screen and you ask yourself, well, am I making any money? First of all, ask yourself if you're even a business owner, if the CEO can say, oh, by the way, we're closing this business. Did you make that decision? No. And this is not me trying to like come at you guys if you were in 31. You need to ask yourself these questions. You need to ask yourself that person that is messaging you and trying to get you to join their company, do they really care about you or is it financially driven? Do they get a bonus if you if you join and buy whatever kit for their the, the next MLM company? Do you really want to get back on that wheel and and be working 24/7 hoping that one day you're going to hit it big so you're you're going to dedicate 3 to 5 years if not longer to recruiting, attempting to recruit, maybe selling some things. You're really going to invest that much time, energy, and creativity and money in the hopes that one day you'll reach that top 0.01% or whatnot, when statistically it's not ever going to happen. Save yourself that heartache, but you've got to step away 
from the influence this multi-level marketing company has had on you. You've got to step away and remove the commercial cult glasses and take a second and start to ask questions. Even the questions that you were told you shouldn't be asking from your upline, those are the questions that you need to ask. That's where I would start. Please do not join another multi-level marketing company. It's not going to be different in another company. The comp plan is the comp plan is the comp plan. It's going to be the same thing. And I'm trying to prevent people from joining another multi-level marketing company and realizing it after they've spent so much time, energy, creativity, and money. Don't do it. Don't fall for it. Start your own thing if you want to. And if not, take your time back. Take your life back. That's all I've got today. Thank you for being here. If you love today's video, feel free to like and subscribe to my channel. Helps me get the word out to more people to not fall for these schemes. That's all I've got. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody.